Hey everyone, okay, it's so a slightly different video, but maybe interesting topic, if nonetheless. In the, the kind of just before Christmas, um, I got married and it was a lovely occasion. It was a very, very small occasion. There was six, four people um, invited, six if you include me and my partner. Very nice occasion. Now, the thing that makes this interesting is that me being gay has not been something that has been hidden from this channel and Instagram. It just hasn't been. Now, it's also not a topic that I frequently bring up hardly ever because it has no bearing on what we're talking about here in general on my channel and on Instagram and all those kind of things because I'm mainly just about makeup so I don't feel the need to just kind of discuss this kind of stuff all the time it's just not necessary so got married very very happy been together an incredibly long time all that kind of stuff then I decided to post a picture on Instagram now it's worth noting that before we kind of get into the meat of this, that 99% of everything that was received was incredibly joyous. And I'm very thankful for that. It was very nice to read. <clears throat> However, there was a small percentage of people who were very, very unhappy with the fact that I got married, that I shared that on social media. And these comments ranged from comments about religion two threats against me in general. Now, it wasn't just a random comment here or there. It was a lot of comments. I lost around 3,000 subscribers. Now, I'm not worried about that in the slightest. People are free to subscribe and unsubscribe however you wish. The thing that was interesting to me is that the bulk of these people were actually following me. So they were following somebody who they vehemently disagreed about who I was as a person, but they were still following me. And that was quite hard for me to understand and process because if you disagree with me so much, why are you following me? And it was a very strange thing. And what also happened was you would get a comment that was incredibly negative or violent. And then their followers would start to chip in and start to comment as well. And luckily I got to all of them very, very quickly. They were immediately deleted. The people who um, were leaving unpleasant comments were just blocked. And those who were leaving comments that were threats were blocked and reported. What was quite interesting about this experience, I mean, it, obviously it's a negative experience. It's not a pleasant thing to read those kind of things. But what was interesting about it was that we live in a society where cancel culture is a very real thing and it uh, I personally would never engage in that kind of behavior I just want to make that quite clear um, would never occur to me to want to cause somebody harm but it's interesting because we do live in this kind of culture and when I was looking at these comments and going on the pages of these people not all of them, but some of them, because I didn't go on every page, but I noticed that there were professors who were working at universities. There was a lawyer and an accountant, people with really good professions. And I was thinking to myself, if this was anyone else, this could turn into an absolute shitstorm for those that were leaving these comments, because I could have got all up irate about it. And, but I didn't, but it's like there was no they, there was no consequence for their actions. They thought that they could just type all of this and it would totally be okay. That there was no thought for any ramifications. Now, again, I would never do that to somebody. I certainly wouldn't want to affect somebody's livelihood or anything like that. I think it's horrible. But if it was somebody else it had been done to, those kind of things could have happened. And it was the lack of concern. Now, we all grow up different. We all have different backgrounds, different beliefs, different families and different religions. And I completely understand that not everybody agrees with being gay and not everybody agrees with gay marriage. I completely get that. But you also have free will, which means it is your choice to actually type something out and send it. There are plenty of things I see on social media that I don't like, that I disagree with, but I don't leave 
incredibly hurtful, hateful or threatening comments on those pages. If I see something that is truly, that I think truly horrific, I will report it. But that's it. I wouldn't leave a comment because I don't like the way that you're living your life. And I wouldn't threaten your life or do anything like that. I just, I found the whole experience incredibly odd. As a grown up, as a grown up man, since I left school, I have never, ever been on the receiving end of any form of homophobic abuse in real life. Now, when I first joined YouTube, that was a very different matter. Bear in mind that I was about, I think maybe 29 or 30 when I started YouTube. And it was a different time then. And what was interesting about that time, because it isn't the same now, but there was a lot of homophobic abuse. And gradually that all just stopped. As time started moving and cancel culture became real and all those things, people backed off from it because there were real consequences to your actions. I'd like to think that people just kind of accept the fact that people are different. And I can accept that you may not agree or your religion says that it's wrong. I, I accept all of that and I accept your beliefs about that. But it doesn't mean that you have to verbalize it towards me as a threat. You know, I always think it's very good to have grown up conversations when it comes to these kind of topics. And obviously a lot of the comments were to do with that God didn't create me this way and it's a choice and all of that. Now, if you actually look at it from a truly scientific point of view, no one really knows why somebody is gay. Science tends to say you're born that way. And if, of course, you were to ask any gay person, pretty much all of them would say you were born that way. But there is still no scientific proof of that. But that is the general consensus, obviously, because if you speak to somebody gay, they're likely to say that. And, you know, it just makes sense. But if you're looking at it from a truly science point of view, they just don't know. Who knows? But regardless, there are gay people in the world and we are here and everything is fine. You don't see me talking about it a lot on the channel because it's not appropriate. Not because I'm ashamed of it, far from it. Just because I'm talking about makeup 99.9% .9 of the time. It was just a very odd experience. If you, some of you would have seen the comments, some of you would have seen the threats. I pretty much got to it straight away. But it was just the fact that these people were following me and they knew who I was, but they still felt the need to want to say the most horrific things. And that I don't think I'll ever get used to that because it is so foreign for me to want to purposely go out and cause somebody to suffer. I don't know, it's a weird, weird world. It really is, it's a peculiar world, but we are what we are and people are who they are and we can't control it. All we can do is the best that we can do. My belief is you can be anything in, you want, in this whole world that you want, but just be nice, be good. That's it, be good, very simple. What a strange couple of weeks, I tell you. It's been a strange, strange time, but <clears throat> here we are, I'm officially married and I'm very pleased about that. I'm pleased I'm provided the protection and pro pleased my partner is provided the protection. I just would have liked the people that didn't like it if they could have just said nothing. But we are what we are, so it is what it is. Thank you for watching. Sorry it's a bit of a different video, but it's a topic of conversation if nothing else. And again, I completely understand people's different beliefs. And if you see negative comments in this video, because I'm not going to, I'm not going to stop them. It is my request that you do not participate in them. People, people can say and do whatever they want, but we don't have to engage in it because by engaging in it, we're feeding it. That's why I wasn't responding to the comments. I did the grown up thing, which is to block them. And if they were threatening to report them, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you all soon. Bye-bye.